In the previous demonstration, I had shown you how you can write one character at a time to a file. I had taken a string message and reading from the string message, I had written into a file called as one underscore care underscore write dot txt. Now from the same file, we will try to read one character at a time and display it on the screen. So what I have done is, I have declared fptr as a pointer to a file type of a structure. I will know why I have used I in a while. I am opening the file. As long as there is no problem opening the file, this condition is never going to be executed. Then I am going to come here. How long should I read the file? I am going to say while. Alright. I am going to use fgetc. fgetc, fptr. Alright. fgetc, fptr not equal to EOF as long as it's not equal to EOF. The return value of F get C is going to be assigned to I. F get C returns the integer value of the character that is the ASCII value converted to integer is returned by F get C. FPTR is the stream. The stream is the source of input. The source of input happens to be a file which you created last time. Now as long as I am reading a character and I have not reached end of the file, I can simply say printf percentage c and then I can say i. So the value of the character in terms of ASCII is going to be printed on the screen. So it's really a simple problem. What I am doing here is I'm just showing you the use of f get c. All right, f get c function. f get c is used to read one character at a time from the input stream. In place of fptr, if I had written standard in, I would be reading from the keyboard. So here what I am doing is I am reading one character at a time from this particular file. As long as it is not reached the end of the file, I am printing that character one character at a time on the screen. So in order to understand this particular program, let us try to copy it and take it onto this online GDB compiler. So what I am going to do here is I am simply going to paste it. Before I run this code, I will show you the content of one care write txt. So if you read this, this really is the content of the input file. This input file is going to be read one character at a time by f get c converted into an integer value. That is the ASCII value is going to be represented as an integer. And then we are going to print the same content on the screen. So if you see the same content coming on the screen, then you should be okay. The heart of the program is here. f get c is reading the first character and returning the ASCII value of that character. Since it's not null, I am printing that character. Let us say we come to this particular point, the fourth line. I have almost reached the end of the file. At that point of time, I is going to have the end of the file character. End of the file is definitely not equal to end of the file. It is equal to end of the file. So I am going to not print that and I'm going to close that particular file pointer. So let's run this program quite easy. You should really see the output. So here you see the output. All right. So here you can see the output. Whatever was that input file we had typed that has been read using f get c and I am printing it using print c onto your standard output which happens to be your monitor.